Let's talk a little bit about bash expansion. I'm just going to kind of play around a little bit and hopefully you will learn something in the process. We're going to make a directory called test and I'm going to cd into it. And now we're going to create some files. Um, if we use, uh, you know, if we wanted to use touch to make these files, we could do something like foo.txt, bar.txt, baz.txt, just for examples to have. Um, and most everybody knows the, the asterisk uh, expansion. You know, you can specify a pattern more closely by, by putting letters in there. Um, it's important to understand what exactly is happening here, though. What Bash does is when it sees this line, it, it actually changes the line before executing the command. So Bash takes this converts it into ls foo.txt and then has that output. So when we do ls b star, it actually is converting it to this and then executing the command and that's why you get that output. So it's important to understand exactly how that's working. That being said, let's move on because most people understand asterisk. Another thing that you can use for expansion in uh, in bash is the uh, tilde. Now tilde expands to your home directory. It, it expands to the home environment variable. So if I do ls home in this sense, it's going to do the same thing. Um, so that's all the magic that there is there. You know, when you're putting in a path and you say cd blah 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 blah, Basically, it's an expansion that just bash re recognizes this tilde and changes it to this. That's all it's doing. Um, some other less known, maybe, uh, expansions in this sense are tilde, uh, tilde plus. So if I do echo tilde, it gives me the uh, my home environment variable. If I do echo tilde plus, it gives me my pwd or present working directory environment variable. If I do tilde dash, then it gives me my old present working directory, which is the same as when you do cd dash. It's just changing this dash to old present working directory, which is, you know, whatever that directory is. So a lot less magic than maybe, you know, we once thought there was. But it is magical, and once you understand how it's working, you can get things done a lot quicker. Uh, for example, let me show you another one. Um, let me show you some brace expansion. So I can remove these files, and now I'm going to create them again, but I'm going to use brace expansion. So I can do uh, foo bar baz inside the brace, and then do uh, .txt at the end, and they're back. So basically, this converts into this because each of these sections within the comma gets added to what's outside the braces. You know, if I did uh, touch uh, blah foo bar baz that txt, then I'll get each of them with blah in front of it too because it will take this and then each one of these and then add the .txt to the end of it. So it's expanding, it's e exploding in a sense. There's other things that you can do uh, using brace expansion. Uh, one of the more common ones is to do a series of numbers. So with the dot dot inside of a brace expansion, so notice we're not using the comma anymore. Now we're using dot dot, which will fill in the numbers in between. That also works for letters. It also works for um, capital letters. And you can actually multiply uh, brace expansions together. So I can have two different brace expansions, and it will 
explode both of them and add them together. So in this sense, I will get a pair of every letter paired with every letter. So this should be 26 times 26. Um, if I do the history expan expansion to do uh, two exclamation points gets the last command. And then I pipe that into word count and count how many words there were in that last command. You can see right here that the history expansion expanded to this, and then that in turn expands, as we know, to this. And so it echoes that and then counts the words in it and gets 676. And just to check our math, we can use Bash's math to do 26 times 26, and it is 676. Um, what else can we do? If you want your numbers to have a uh, two digits on them, so that when you get to 10 it doesn't mess up your indentation, just put a zero in front of it. Very simple. Also, if you want odd numbers, you can do something like this, where the two just specifies how many to increment by each time. So normally, it you know the one is implied, but if you change it to two, then it'll go by odd numbers. You know three, it's not no longer uh, odd numbers, but it's incrementing by three. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about about Bash expansion. I hope you learned something. This is just a quick video to share some tidbits and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.